I have a simple question for you guys, and this is like the most simple question in the world, and it's a basic yes or no answer for those of you guys who are willing to go in the comment section and respond to this, and that is, do you like Gotenks? Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. I got a very special shout out for you guys, and this shout out is to my second channel, Nerdscape. This channel is going to be my second channel focused more on more nerd stuff that I don't focus on here. Basically, DC, Marvel, Star Wars, other things like that. News versus battles, I'm gonna have it all on that channel. Plus, that is my backup channel, so if anything ever happens to this channel, that is my backup channel, so I ask each and every one of you, give me a chance and go to that channel, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications. I'm gonna have a link to that channel in the description below, and the top comment, support your boy, hashtag Black Squad for life. These are today's hashtag end of video squad winners. If you would like to join them, make sure to watch till the end of this video. Drop your comment with the hashtag end of video squad for a chance to be featured in my next video. I make one non Goten video and it does fairly well, but all I get are comments and DMs asking me when the next Goten video is out. I will be covering the finale, which I'm assuming is the finale of Yu's Dragon Ball fan manga that sort of sparked this whole Goten interest, and I am gonna be covering the finale of it, but I figured every Goten video that I am gonna be creating, I am just gonna go ahead and put them all in one playlist, so I will have all of them in one playlist, which you guys can find in the description below and the top comment. You can find the links for that, but it all comes down to what you want out of Goten, and I made a poll where I had a very negative reaction to the results of this poll, but I am very amicable and I do want to give you guys the content you want, the content you ask for, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to make videos on each route, what my thoughts are on each individual route that Goten can possibly go through. and. I'm not gonna cover every single one because some of them are not enjoyable to cover, but there are a few that I would like to touch up on. And this is probably the prime one because this is going to be what we're gonna be getting more than likely from Goten in the official Dragon Ball canon. And that is his attachment, his connection at the hip to Trunks because it seems like the Dragon Ball staff are pushing Goten in this direction where he is always going to be next to Trunks, around Trunks, because both of them combined create Gotenks. And I have been very, very vocal as to what I think of this option. That's not to say though that there aren't some benefits or a possible good way of doing this. There is a good way of doing this. You just have to be smart about it. There's a good way to write Goten and Trunks together and have them create Gotenks and make it not as cringy as what Dragon Ball Heroes does. Because of what Dragon Ball Heroes does, that is the main reason that I don't like this option. And if you guys don't know, Dragon Ball Heroes basically has Goten and Trunks together always solely for the purpose of creating Gotenks and then Gotenks is extremely powerful fusion and it just falls back so hard on that fusion option that it doesn't give the two subsequent parts of that fusion any time to breathe and it doesn't help that Gotenks to me is the most unsufferable of all the fusions he is the most annoying of all the fusions and those are my thoughts on him and you guys might have thought different because more likely you guys do you guys put in the comment section below what you guys had thought of him, but personally for me, when I first thought of Goten and Trunks fusing, 
I thought it was awesome. I couldn't wait for that to happen in Dragon Ball Z. I was a little kid watching Toonami and watching them train with Piccolo was like a dream come true because I was like, what kind of character are these guys going to create? What is he going to look like? What is he going to act like? And the fact that Piccolo is the one teaching them this is freaking bonkers. It's fucking fantastic. It's great story writing for Piccolo making him relevant because he's basically teaching everybody everything and so i was really happy when this was going on and then it happened and i was so happy that the results looked like this i still remember seeing this fusion for the first time and being like this might be my favorite character in dragon ball because he is so cool and even his first episode when he was extremely cocky and he decided to go and fight boo even though he lost yeah this episode alone was enjoyable to me and made it seem like this character was gonna learn his lesson about not being so cocky and not blowing his load too early and then being really really cool and sleek and the design was really cool as well i just love the base version of gotenks a lot and then he became super saiyan which is fine but then he fought boo and everything from there on has been extremely annoying annoying ass gotenks i'm sorry but it is true rant is over on gotenks because now i'm going to talk to you guys about how to make this better, how to make Gotenks a better character and subsequently Goten and Trunks relationship much better than what the alternative is when it comes to this option. So I bet you guys are trying to figure out what I'm going to say next. You guys are wondering where I'm going with this and how to make this much better than what I think it was before. All right, so here is my master plan. This is what I think should be the future if we're gonna be going the Gotenks route where Goten just can't abandon Trunks. Goten doesn't become his own character. Trunks doesn't become his own character. They just basically remain the same in the way they are right now. And they focus mainly on fusion. Make Gotenks permanent that is the best option that makes the most difference that makes a brand new character and we don't have to focus on bringing two characters and fleshing them out we can just focus on bringing one character and fleshing his ass out that is the best option for goten always being with trunks and here your boy blackscape daddy blackscape He's got the option for you. He's got the answer for you. This is how you do it. This is how you rewrite these rules. So Goten and Trunks end up training their entire adolescences, their teenage years, and trying to get stronger and stronger together become 100% synergetic. They train in the hyperbolic time chamber, wearing Saiyan armor, learning from Vegeta, Goku, and Gohan, but still, they focus mainly on being a tag team until one day, Earth gets attacked or something happens, cataclysmic, and they are the only two that can answer the call, but they are separated by life. Life happens. One of them is in college. The other one is, you know, working at a factory somewhere you know doing whatever and they are too far away and so when they finally meet up and face off against the evil doer the evil doer has already killed millions hundreds of millions and he is stronger than both goten and trunks individually so they go into gotenks and they defeat the villain but they realize that if they had been closer together or they had been gotenks from the start then they may have been able to defeat this guy before he had killed so many and they are in the type to be like goku where oh the dragon balls are gonna bring these people back no they're not that type goku is more of an optimistic in that sense he really he feels that pain of losing all those people but he masks it and you know what the dragon balls are gonna bring people back goten and trunks are more in like the earth lifestyle they see people every day and the horrors of the deaths that they witness this hurts them psychologically so they decide that of course they bring back the people that passed away but they don't want anybody on earth no earthling to feel the pain that any of their family members have to feel when 
millions of people end up dying or even one person ends up dying. They don't want to feel or have anybody feel that and especially have them feel guilty because they could have done something better with them being fused. So in addition to bringing back everybody with that one wish, they end up wishing that they were fused by the fusion dance permanently. And so Goten and Trunks end up dying figuratively and Gotenks is finally born. And with his birth, you can literally just focus all your attention on making this character fucking awesome and giving him a lot of insight and actually having him contend against some evil doers who are trying to destroy earth or whatever he could be that kind of hero he could be a first responder he could be a little bit more serious because he's living up to the fact that he wants to be there to save everybody basically kind of like a superhero that's how i think that goten trunks and gotenks end up being a better option in that scenario i think that that route makes them far more interesting and makes goten and trunks have better character development together as opposed to right now where they're just kind of bullshitting and not growing because they're not independent from each other but if you made it to this point in the video you are now part of the hashtag end of video squad thank you guys so much make sure you drop that comment with that hashtag for a chance to be featured in my next video today i'm going to be responding to rising fist such an emotional story. Is it weird that I feel for Android 17? Rage-filled sadness. That's powerful. Yes, that is sort of kind of how I wanted it to be perceived. That 17 is this tortured soul and broken. Because not only does he have 18, but he's also broken. I feel like in the future Trunks timeline, the androids are broken beings. They aren't willing to learn, learn from their mistakes, or grow in any sense. As opposed to in the main timeline, when they end up growing from Krillin's intervention, 16, um, Imperfect Cell. They grow so much while they stay stagnant in the future timeline. So yes, he is someone that you're meant to pity. And the fact that he doesn't really get to say everything that he wants to say or do everything that he wants to do to Trunks before he dies to make him pay comes off with a little bit of sadness, I think. And uh, again, it's your work that made me even make that video. So I appreciate your comment. It means a lot to me. And your content means a lot to me. Thank you so much, Rising Fist. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.